for the biggest building game on Roblox, you really don't see construction equipment all that often. So that's why today I decided to do something about it. And let's figure out how big we want this thing to be, because honestly, I want it to be pretty gigantic. <laughs> okay, you know what? That seems almost like a little too small. Yeah, that's looking a little better. Okay, so how big is this? It's about 15 by 15 blocks wide. Okay, perfect. All right, then here we go. So because this thing is going to be pretty big, I actually think it's going to be quite stable. So actually, I think this might look like a slightly better size. Maybe the other one was a little too big. We're actually going to go with this one. A little bit smaller. So I actually do kind of want to stick with like a scaling of everything is about one block big. Just because I think it will look the best that way. So let's see. All right. I think that looks about tall enough. I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm just going with the flow right now. <laughs> now, one thing that's very important, very much like an actual real train. Uh, we want to make sure that this thing is actually going to be strong enough to withstand some real torture. You know, people trying to kill me. Bro, I already know that's about to happen. I think that's right. So we're going to take this and move everything by 20 blocks up and just keep cloning it. All right, perfect. Yeah. All right, there it is. Oh, dude, this is actually starting to look so cool. Now, we're going to have to do some cross bracing to make sure this thing really is powerful enough. And also, you know, it needs to look right. So I got to make sure that this actually starts like in the exact right spot. That is not right. Okay, now I don't know why, but this isn't quite looking right. So there's actually an easier way to do this. And I don't know why I didn't do this like straight away. Uh, when you actually grab the exact middle point, uh, yeah, you will actually always nail it perfectly. Okay, that looks right. And that looks right too. Okay, perfect. Right, I got to make sure that this is all positioned right. So that needs to go there. And this needs to be flipped around as well. So I think that is about right. Yeah, you want to make sure that all of the like different points are touching. So that's right. And then the one that actually goes up from here, we got to rotate it 180 degrees. Now, actually, I think I'm going to have to delete all of these previous ones. Oops. Because yeah, we're going to have to do more than what we did before. All right, perfect. All right, there you go. We're going to have to rotate everything. All right, perfect. So now that we have this bit, we can just keep cloning this. All right, dude. Now that is actually looking really good. Like actually like the real thing. Now, of course, that is going to get a paint job. Actually, that is, that is the wrong color. Is that the right color? I actually don't know. Also, what? What the heck? Oh God, I cloned that to every single one of them. No! All right, perfect. That is looking pretty stable. Like a very good construction. Like you would want to see, you know, if this thing... Uh actually was supposedly, you know, carrying all kinds of heavy stuff around. Now, most cranes actually, as a matter of fact, they don't have like a way of really driving around easily or like getting it around easily. Like most of them are kind of like fastened to the ground, but that would be insanely boring. So I'm actually going to put it like on a spinny platform with wheels and we can, we're going to be able to drive this thing around and really wreck some people's builds. <laughs> and I want to make sure you can actually see the rotating disc. So I'm going to rotate this 45 degrees. Oh no. <gasps> I messed up the whole bit. Build. One side is longer than... Ah! One sec. I gotta fix that. <laughs> Alright, there it is. That is all my problem solved. Time to actually make this properly. So, we're gonna rotate this 45 degrees. And now we can scale this up. There you go. Alright, perfect. And now we just have to turn this into a circle. 30 by 30. There you go. And I think we can just start cloning this. Yeah, okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. So, this is, needs a different color. Something like this. Okay, so this is the actual platform that the entire thing is gonna be rotating on. But, I kind of wanted to have like a little bit of a ridge. So, the way I think I will actually do this, we're gonna put like a little tiny tiny gap in between, and then we're going to have another circle right there. Scale this up, right? Oh, perfect. Yeah, so you can see there's a little gap in between, but it just looks perfect. And yeah, there's like literally no seams here. Awesome. Okay, perfect. We're just going to scale this up a bit. All right, perfect. Now we just got to make sure that there's um and all the gaps are filled in. It doesn't look like crap. All right, so there it is. So that is supposed to kind of look like, I don't know, like maybe like a block of concrete or something like that. Pretty much um, mostly just so it looks like something very, very heavy is there on the bottom. Now we're actually actually gonna have to put something extremely heavy here on the bottom so that the whole thing doesn't topple over. But until then, uh, we're actually gonna start adding in the wheels. Now, I think there might not be a better time to use giant wheels other than this one. This might be the best time ever to use these ridiculous wheels. Oh, dude, that looks so cool. <laughs> Okay, I actually used like slightly the wrong color for the whole thing. So gonna have to repaint the whole thing. All right, now that right there is actually looking pretty flipping cool. Okay, so in theory, when I actually launch this whole thing, I think the actual center will fall down. So let's see. Yeah, okay, perfect. So we actually want that to happen because we're obviously gonna have to manually control this whole thing. And for that part, we're actually, maybe I might even still use the giant wheel, you know? I think like that. I think that should work. All right, well, only one way to find out. Moment of truth is this thing 
thing even gonna remotely work. So, okay. So look, 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 I'm going forward. The actual thing itself, is it spinning properly? Okay, wait, actually, I'm gonna have to anchor this off to even see. Yes, it spins properly. Okay, perfect. Now, actually, that needs to have way higher torque. Okay, perfect. And way lower speed. Okay, way lower than that even. Yeah, okay. Little something like that. And the actual bottom wheels seem to be pretty all right. So they're currently just slightly touching the wall. That's always a problem with these wheels. All right, perfect. So let's actually get working on what might just be the scary and craziest part of this whole thing. Time to get working at height. Uh, yeah, I hope you don't... Uh, I hope you guys don't have, like, height disease. Like, scared of heights. Uh, because I'm sure... Because I'm sure not. Um, okay, let's get working. All right, so at the top right here, it's gonna be slightly crooked like that. And this right here is gonna be the actual, like, tower where we're gonna be able to control the whole thing. All right, that is looking pretty much perfect now. Time to, like, add in a floor and just, like, some railings so that way you can't just simply fall off. <laughs> okay, so this is gonna go continue straight. Or like, oh, uh, yeah, that looks a little too short. <laughs> this continues going this way. I think that looks about right, actually. Wait, am I... There's, like, different ways that you can actually make a crane, and I don't know, man. I'm, like, right in between which one I actually want to make, but I think this one will look the best. This will go, like, straight up. This needs to go straight until where it matches. Okay, perfect. Okay, so, yeah, this crane is gonna go a little something like this. Okay, that goes like that. Okay, now, this design is a little crazy, but I think it'll look really, really good. All right, so right here, we're gonna have to build something that kind of looks like a, like, rotating bar. So, actually, I think I didn't do this right. All right, so this right here is gonna be the rotating bar. All right, perfect. So that looks just about right. Gonna give this a little bit of a paint job. And yeah, pretty much, uh, this is what the actual cable is gonna roll over, which is gonna actually attach back over there at the bottom. All right, we got the second roller in place. All we should have to do now is actually just making sure that this, uh, you know, thing up here is not just a floating shell, you know? We gotta get, we gotta add some more support. All right, there it is. We have the entire, like, pretty much entire upper part of the actual crane finish. Now, I decided to just kind of speed run it because, you know, I mean, it is the same as the bottom. It's just sideways. So yeah, nothing too interesting there. But now it is actually time that we're going to start working on building a rope. Now, you might think to yourself, Jesse, how are you going to build a flipping rope and build a boat? And yeah, it's actually going to be pretty complicated. But first things first, we got to actually add in like the rope that doesn't move. <laughs> okay, see, I'm using the wrong block right here. We, we really got to be using something else here. We're going to be using, yeah, that looks good. That should go straight over to there. Perfect. Actually, uh, I feel like this would be like a, like a metal chain. I don't think, I don't really think it would be a rope. So now that I'm thinking about it, I'll probably use that instead. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. So yeah, this part right here, I mean, it looks like it's supposed to move, but it really doesn't. It's just for show. And pretty much what we're going to have to figure out is how we're going to connect that right down there perfectly up here. That looks okay. Uh, that doesn't. Actually, does it? That's actually, yeah, this is perfect. Okay, perfect. Okay, that looks perfect. Okay, now we're going to just have to do the exact same thing here on the other side. But of course, I can't have a rope that is like an actual just straight up block. We want this thing to freaking move. All right, so it's going to start right here. And from here on out, it is all just going to be an actual rope lock, kind of. Now, actually building this is going to be pretty complicated. And I haven't really thought about it too much, to be honest. All right, so there's like many different ways that you can actually move a surface. So we're going to go this way. We're going to go that way. And we got to go that way. So as long as we have all three of those like rotations, I think everything will work out. But then, of course, we have a problem, which is that that right there is not the rope that we started with. I mean, it's metal. That's just, you know, it's not metal. But I think if we paint it, I think it'll actually look all right. Yeah, I, I think we can actually get away with that. So that needs to connect to that. I think a little something like so. Actually, I'm going to do it on both sides here. I have to do the same right here. All right, perfect. So in between, we're actually going to start adding our actual rope like that. So we're going to have to somehow connect this to there. Okay, so that is the rope right there. So we're going to move this by two down. Okay, so now we got to connect things up again. And I think we should have an actually flexible rope, maybe. <laughs> Uh, maybe. I don't know. All right. Uh, there's only one way to find out. Lineker! Nothing bad yet. Okay, wait. Actually, it's not really moving right, so we collision it off. Oh, wait. It's actually... Dude, it's perfect! Oh, my God, dude. It's, like, actually moving perfectly. Okay, so what we should be able to do now is just keep cloning that. Actually, don't save it. Uh, load it. Uh, we should be able to just keep cloning that all the way down until we have a full rope. All right, then. Well, here we go. Time for the big clone. Now, I know it looks a little bit strange, but I think it's fine. It almost kind of looks like an actual chain. 
<laughs> okay, I think that is perfect. Now, I have this one servo here at the top. I don't really love the way it looks, but I kind of need it just so that way if, you know, things aren't rotating properly, it's like a little bit of a safe, like, you know, just for safety. But I think what I can actually just kind of add a wall around it so that it doesn't like look so bad. Yeah, all right. That already looks a lot better. Okay, dude, this is perfect, dude. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna have to select everything and give everything just a little bit more space. Okay, give it a bit of a move. Also, we're gonna have to go up a bunch. Okay, perfect. All right, now only one way to figure out if this is really gonna work. And that is to select the entire thing. And then I care! What? I think, oh, 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 wait. Uh. Oh, wait, it is falling. I think it's just, I think I've almost crashed the server. Oh, wait, no, okay. Now it's actually going. Okay, okay, okay. Now the server isn't loving this build. Okay, so I think what I should do to make things a lot better already is just turn off collision on that abomination over there. Uh, what is it doing? Okay, ugh. the game is kind of freaking out about it. Oh God, the whole thing is tipping over. No. Okay, that is one thing that we're definitely gonna have to fix. And also just the fact that this is just really, really laggy. But look, it is like a perfect rope. Like, the way it works is perfect. It's just way too laggy. Okay, well, uh, we're, 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 we'll deal with the lag problem when we get to it. Uh, first off, let's actually make sure that this thing doesn't topple over like it just did. So as far as I know, the real only way that you can make sure of this is just by simply adding what I will call a gigaweight. All right, so this is gonna go down first. All right, 64 metal blocks left. I think I've used like what? Like a uh, hundred thousand? Oh, uh, 86,000 metal. Okay, that, that should definitely be pretty freaking heavy. Oh, oh my God, wait. It's, oh, wait, I forgot to make this part. Uh, and I, uh, a collision off. Okay, come on. Just don't fall over. It didn't fall over! Woo! Okay, our rope, dude. It is so perfect, but it is so laggy. Oh my God. Oh, well, nothing I can do about it. So this thing is currently not very dangerous. So uh, I think we're actually gonna have to add something a little bit more dangerous at the end of this, uh, you know, this string. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we're gonna add something with a couple of spikes. Okay, so I got spike ball big, spike ball small, spike ball giant spike. I have, I've got a lot of spiky stuff. Okay, this is spike ball small, but this is nothing. What am I even looking at? Spike ball big? Oh my God. Okay, that is a really big spike ball. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is gonna crash the game. Crap. Yeah, this one looks a little more appropriate. <laughs> All right, time to put this ball in the other save. There it is. Now we gotta just attach these two things together and it should be money. I think we're fully ready to go now. I've done a little bit of testing and actually made sure that this thing isn't completely broken. Actually, uh, I ended up removing like a bunch of the links in the chain. And right now it's actually not even that laggy. So yeah, this is going to be pretty awesome. All right, let's go. Oh, there you go. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, do look at that room. Uh, so yeah, we should just be able to drive this like a regular car, but because this entire thing is so insanely heavy, I think it's actually better if I lower the torque on these wheels real quick. Oh my God. Dude. Okay. This is working pretty well so far. Let's see. Oh my God. We can spin the freaking. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, don't worry about the base kind of spinning. Okay. If I actually anchor this off, uh, it will spin even faster. Oh, is it? Oh yeah, dude. There it goes. But yeah, it should be fine if the base actually spins. Like it's not like a big deal. <laughs> oh my God. Whoa. What the heck? Come on. Okay. Uh, uh, oh God. Oh geez. What is happening? I think I just lost my spiky ball. No wait, There it is. I still got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right, here we go. PvP mode enabled. Let's see. What's the kind of damage that we can do to other people? Oh my god, dude. These swings. Oh, wait, wait. Wait. Oh my god. It's flood escape. Okay, this is gonna be perfect. <laughs> Oh, dude, he flew into it. Yeah, dude, his boat is destroying. Oh, my God, wait, what is this giant freaking pickle-looking thing? Oh, my God, we just smashed it. <laughs> Bang! There we go! Let's go, come on, smash! Oh, my God, I just sniped the guy out of the airplane. I just earned money for it. <laughs> Come here, here we go. Oh my God, we got grappling hooked. Oh dude, he's gonna pay for that. Oh, he's gonna pay for that. Let's see, can we actually snipe him out of the sky? <laughs> Come here, boy. It's destruction time. I came here to wreck you, boy. Woo! Wait, I think I'm destroying the actual bottom of his build. <laughs> you know what? Let's go full destruction mode. We're turning the whole thing collision off. Have a good time trying to stop me now, buddy. We will just phase through your entire build. Oh, there's some collision going on right here. Well, don't don't mind if I do. Oh, no, we're being attacked back. No. Come on, just hit him. There it is. <laughs> Dude, we just did a bunch of damage. Oh, no. That is so many cannibals. Oh, my God. What is happening? What is happening right now? What is happening right now? Dude, look at the damage right now. Dude. <laughs> 
Bang, 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 bang. Dude, we deleted like all of their water and stuff, dude. There is so much stuff just gone. Oh, wait, we are being bombarded. Oh, jeez. Oh, dude, we are deleting so much stuff right now. No, we've been killed. No. Man, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> Well, I think it's safe to say the wrecking ball did a decent amount of damage. <laughs>